Okay, hey guys, I just wanted to take an opportunity to demonstrate how to do some of the calculations that we've been doing by hand on the spreadsheet. And so if you have data and all you have to do is type the data into different columns, what you can then do is actually use formulas to calculate things that, that we couldn't before or that we had to do by hand. So what we're going to do is the median of uh, Toby and Moby. And uh, the way we do that is we just, I'm just kind of making titles. We just press equals because uh, we're going to use a function. And we type the word median and bracket. Uh, if we click on, all, highlight the Toby cells. And so it looks like this. You just really have to be in the middle of the cell to highlight it. And then close the bracket. And so the median is 115. For Moby, again, we press equals. And then we type the word median and then open a bracket it's above the 9 and highlight the cells and hit enter again and so we can see that the middle number of pizzas made by Toby was higher than the middle number of the pizzas made by Moby for the mean um, if we type Toby and Moby again we can go into a cell that where we want to put the average we type equals average and then open the bracket highlight Toby's cells that you want to take the average of hit enter we get 104 for Moby if we hit equals average you can type the word average let me just make sure we spell it correctly because if you don't spell it correctly it won't do it for you and then open the bracket and highlight the cells for Moby and we get 104. So really looking at just the average, um, Toby and Moby, there's no real difference. But looking at the median, Toby's actually higher, has a higher middle number than Moby. So that means for the most part, Toby actually does higher. We can actually also calculate the standard deviation. Um, and so I'm just going to make the title and then do it for Toby and Moby. Um, for this, we type equals STD EV and highlight Toby and hit enter. And then same thing, STD, STD EV bracket, highlight Moby and hit enter. And so we can see that Toby, although has a higher median, he's actually less consistent. Um, his, his numbers are more spread out than Moby's. So it's not that it's bad or good. It's just that it is what it is. So Toby will do really high numbers, but he also do really low numbers. And in general, he'll be 55 above and below the, medi the mean, 104. And Moby will be 47 above and below the mean of 104. We can actually also, while we have the data here, we can actually make a chart of the data too. So if we just highlight the cells, we can go to insert, insert chart. And when we insert the chart, we can actually then kind of look at um, the data that they do for the most part. And so as a histogram, you can see how many times each person has the number, like one time between 0 and 35 one time between 35 and 70 and we can click insert for the histogram um, so this is and we can change the title so we can say histogram Toby and we can look at and it's really like a normal distribution like up in the middle and then same thing if we just highlight Moby we can go to insert chart and just click down here at histogram and we almost have this kind of right skewed histogram and we just say histogram um, Moby and the picture tells you maybe a little bit more than just the data would on its own um, and uh, so I'm just going to scroll out um, and so we can look at all these things as things that help you really compare the data so if you need to decide who's the best pizza guy um, all of these things should go and in, take into account. You want to decide, do you want the person with the middle number the highest? Do you want the person that's more consistent? Um, if you look at this, do you want the person that's kind of um, 
really like level like predictable or do you want the person that maybe is a little bit all over the place so moby um and, and so even though moby is more consistent so it's really it's really kind of it's not like what's the best measure it's more these are the measures i'm going to use to describe so just i have more information 